What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing really well. This is the Sunday show where I take you through five of my very best sold sales items on eBay and on Facebook Marketplace. I'm joined today by Chris Furlong, another reseller here in Australia. He's got five items to take you through as well. It's gonna be a slightly different Sunday show this week, but I am looking forward to bringing him on. I'll take you through my weekly sales numbers. Awesome featured reseller of the week for you guys to check out as well. Let's kick things off and dive into the interview that I had with Chris to talk through some items that sold throughout the week. All right, guys, as I touched on, we have a very, very special guest today, my very good mate, uh, Chris Furlong. How are you, Chris? Mate, I am so good. It's uh, it's an honor to be on the show. I'm, I'm so excited to get into it, mate. Now, this is a very, very different to what I've normally done with the standard uh, Sunday show. I'm normally doing my, just my 10 items, but I do the featured reseller of the week, and I really wanted to bring in a different component where uh, we get your sold sales items as well. So we're going to do five of mine, we're going to do five of yours, and we're just going to rotate it and uh, basically just have a bit of a chat. So um, I hope you're up for it. Oh, mate, I'm up for it. should be good. Good stuff, mate. And just before we get into it, uh, running, lifestyle, and everything in between, uh, give us a, a really quick spiel for those out there that don't know about your channel. Yeah. So, I mean, you've said it quite well. So, every time, <laughs> if you if you don't know me, if you come over to my channel, I'm going to be like, good morning, you know, welcome to my channel, all about running, lifestyle, and everything in between. However, I've in probably in the last three, four months, my content has actually been more majority reselling, and that's really the main part of the channel at this point. You know, as a, as a hobby, the YouTube channel was all about running. Um, but you know, I'm, I am taking that shift more into the reselling stuff, but the running will, you know, stick around and, you know, I'm trying to bring a video about, you know, what I'm selling, what I'm doing. And also as I get out to the thrift shops, what I'm sourcing, but the whole point is I'm trying to document my journey of trying to make this as my, you know, full-time income and, mm. uh, you know, give you guys or anyone watching you know, a chance to understand what I'm doing, why I'm doing it to hopefully give some hints and tips, but also to keep myself accountable because, you know, I have big goals and it's it's also fun to document and to reflect on it all. You've got some very big goals. I will say that. I'm, I'm, an avid, uh, I'm an avid watcher of your channel, mate, and I hope that the reselling community out there that aren't watching your videos can start to tune in. Uh, that's obviously the reason why we've got you on today. I think you're only about 150 or so away from the uh, the magical 1,000. So it's close. Fingers crossed, mate, we can uh, get a few of the people watching today to jump over to your channel. I've got uh, Chris's YouTube details down below there on the left uh, bottom side of the screen, I think it's positioned. So um, just do a quick search. I'll put it in the links in the description below. So no excuses for anyone out there to uh, jump on Chris's channel and give him a subscribe. And if we can get him to a thousand today in the next 24 hours, that'd be absolutely incredible. Um, guys, no, uh, no more mucking around. Let's dive into it. I'm going to be the first one and uh, I'm going to pull a couple of different screens up. I'm very new to this StreamYard system that uh, Chris has been helping me with. Uh, we've been backstage for the last hour trying to get this sorted. So <laughs> firstly, thank you very much for all your help. Hopefully, no worries, uh, mate. Hopefully, this is a seamless process, but um, we'll jump into the first item here. I've got this one here to kick us off, mate. Um, this one was the the Ralph Lauren 100% woolen uh, zip-up jacket that I found nice. a, fair, a fair while ago, to be fair. I actually had this one in a trip to the thrift video. Um, I paid $15 for it, and as you can see there, uh, $95, um, which is surprising because that was the initial listing price. It actually sold for $80 on a best offer. Oh, yeah. Um, so that one, that one hasn't obviously corrected itself there, but $80 I got for it, paid 15. I'm profiting about, I think high thirties on this one, closer to 40. Nice. Um, and obviously mate, the time of the year, I talk about it all the time with, with, you know, trying to get winter wear for the winter time that we're coming into. So no wonder this one has finally popped up for a quick sale. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I was pretty happy with that one. Finally, the Ralph ran out the door. It's pretty good, man. Plus it probably taken up a lot of space. Yeah, the, the cupboard that I've got here, it's slowly building up with clothing and I, I don't really have too much in the way of cupboard space. So any uh, any piece of clothing that I'm able to move out the door is a good one. That's um, it. That's it. All right, mate. What have you got? Let's flick us over. Here we go. First yeah, so for the first one, and I wanted to start with this because it is a low sale, it's a small $14, the newsroom, season one, um, and this is sealed. And this is actually from a whole bunch of DVDs I had sitting in a big box from, from years ago that I'm just trying to, you know, get out there, move it along just to have those items trickling along. So sold it for 14 bucks um, with free free shipping. So it's going to cost me about $4.50 to send. Um, you know, after fees and everything, there's about a $7.50 profit there. But it's not a huge item in terms of, you know, not, not hitting a $50 margin, I mean, you know, $50 profit or $30 profit. But I wanted to make sure I highlight this is because you don't have to be selling, you know, the big ticket items. You know, no. you could get 10 of these, it's just a cheap thing and that's 75 bucks profit, right? So um, I wanted to just bring that perspective as, as the first one. 
Um, now this yeah. did sit. It sit for a while. It did. It really did. Look, DVDs do, but I'm I'm a big advocate for DVDs, mate. I've I've sold quite a lot of them. And I, I do think they're the often the drip feeder that just kind of keeps ticking along yeah. for you. Um, so I'm not surprised to see obviously the sale. I'm actually typically around the same price there as you at around the 14. I try and get about 10 bucks for them. Yeah. Um, and especially when they're brand new and sealed, just like this one that you've got here, um, that's a pretty much an average price. I mean, every people will yeah. ask me about DVDs, and depending on which DVD you have, is obviously going to be dependent on the price that you get, like anything. Yeah. Um, you can't just sort of blanket out a price point. But when you are brand new and sealed, just like the one that you've got here, you can often hit double digits. So Correct. Um, I, I think there's a real place for DVDs and I, I continue to source them, but probably more so place the focus around the brand new sealed. So yeah. um, I'm, it saves I'm, the hassle. Yeah, it saves the hassle. And I think you're doing the right thing by continuing to pick those up. So uh, that's a good one. Um, all right, I'm the next one up with this. And and this was actually literally just in a trip to the thrift for those that were watching on Thursday. So I'd put I thought I'd put this one in. This was um this was an interesting one because to be honest, I didn't really do enough research. Well, I, I did do research, but then I got a curious question from the buyer, um, which got me interested on this. So I thought I'd put it in today's episode. Fifty nine ninety five was the uh, was the end up sale price on this. I paid twenty bucks in, in the thrift for it, and I wouldn't normally buy a single item of clothing for twenty bucks, but Cricket Australia clothing for me sells very fast and sells okay. for a relatively good price. And as well, this one had um, brand new with tags, as you can see there. Yeah. It was also a 2020-21, so the current season's um, mm -hmm. merchandise. But the buyer, once he purchased it, sent me a message and he said, how did you get your hands on this? Because you can't actually buy this retail. Oh. So I oh. thought to myself, well, if that's the case, not that I was aware, maybe I could have got a few more dollars for yeah. it. Um, <laughs> So I don't know. I was, I was happy to get the, the the figure that was comping on eBay, you know, relative to, to tracksuit pants for Cricket Australia. This was yeah. a, a fair price. But um, well, yeah, when he sent that message through, I thought to myself, mm. should I got to give? Should I got to go a bit higher? Because the sales cycle on it was about two days, so it sold really oh, quick. <laughs> um, but um, I think the profit on this one is is exactly what I said in the video that I wanted to get about that twenty five dollar profit off off yeah. a twenty dollar purchase. So um, there Can't is complain with that. No, you can't. And, and and there is money to be made in, in higher priced items. So I think for those watching out there, don't um don't feel if the item's highly priced that you need to run away from it. Um if you know what you can obviously, you know, pump yeah. it up to, to to get your profit, it, it's still worth, you know, spending the money. So um, I, I was happy to to roll that one out the door, but very interested around the uh the lack of retail purchase opportunity. Yeah. No, I mean good job, mate. Mm. Next one up, mate. Well, that it's a good segue. So for this one, I've I've paid up for a whole bunch of Agatha Christie books, and if anyone has actually seen, I picked these up for probably four weeks ago, six weeks ago. This was part of about seventy Agatha Christie books, and there was some you know paperbacks and hardcovers, and I basically pulled out the thirty uh, paperbacks and put them as a lot. Um, I had about one hundred and twenty, and I ended up selling it for it must have been I don't know it did it did sell it for one hundred and twenty. It's actually updated that. I had it for 140 originally and sold it for 120 uh, nice. with free postage. So after that, you know, I've, I've only come out with a profit around $27. But once again, the key thing here is that I bought all these Agatha Christie books and I've still got another, I think another 40 to go through. Um, I paid just under 150 for all of them. Wow, uh, so I've made my money back basically in this sense. Um, and and once again, more. Exactly, exactly. So yeah. I was hoping that someone would come along and try and buy them both, uh, buy them both, and then I could combine shipping. But it didn't happen. Um, I, I'm happy to move these along. You know, 120 bucks. It's good for revenue potential, um, and then 27 dollars profit. So not not too bad. Crime and mystery books, they sell. That's it. it yeah. They really do. And it's funny oh. because I, I it was only two weeks later I found another collection in the op shop. Um, of about 70 as well. And I haven't even listened. I haven't got around to it. So it'd be good to be able to put that back up and, you know, hopefully get some more views. So, yeah, I know Vince Flynn, um, the Jack Reacher series as well. Oh, yeah. Crime. Uh, they, they've sold very well for me. So, Agatha Christie, um, Crime and Mystery. I'm, I'm no wonder you're over 100 bucks on that. That's a that's a really good flip. And the power of bundles as well, mate. Yes, that's it. When you, when you bundle it up, you get your top dollar and you can often buy all these <laughs> for around the, around the dollar each. So, that's it. Um, that's and just a hot tip on this as well is, you know, if you do find a big collection like this, you know, 30, 40, 50 books in an op shop, you know, if you are buying other stuff, you know, it's always, you know, be courageous, be bold and mm -hmm. just say, hey, look, if I purchase all these, you know, can I get a discount? And when I did purchase, they gave me 20% off 
not just for the books, but everything else I was buying as well. So I ended up spending about $170 on the one day and that was for a whole bunch of things. But, you know, I ended up getting 20% off. So it, it all adds up. Always ask the question. <laughs> the worst, worst thing you're going to get is a no. And that's, that's not it. the worst at the end of the day. So, um, no, well done, mate. That's that's awesome stuff. Um, this one here, mate, uh, the Halo uh, Escalation series, I think this was, volumes one to four. Um, okay. so this is a, they, these are actual comic books for the, for the Halo series. So um, just paperback, nothing too fancy about it, but they are books number one to four. So I think that helps that it was sort of yeah. within the series. Good um, yeah, a, a good bundle and, and a true collector's type item. Guys, what I will say with this is that Halo, anything Halo just seems to sell well in books. Um, there's a big, which I've actually sold this week as well. I could have put them both in just to prove the point. Um, okay. Halo encyclopedias are fairly common for me out in the thrift. They're quite a large um, hard-covered book, um, just the one book, but it sells for about 40 to $50 Jesus. on its own. Um and I had a, I think it was about a forty dollars sale on that one as well for Halo. So two Halo series books um, have come through this week. Was for it by me, the but... same person or the author? I'm not hundred percent sure. No, I'm no, no. Quite... The buyer did the buyer buy both or no, no, okay. Separ okay. separate days um, with this one. And that again just proves the point that there's a few people out there looking for Halo yeah. books. Um, so this comic book series, I haven't come across too often. This was sort of a one of a kind. I, I, again, I only paid two dollars a piece, so I'm eight dollars in for a fifty dollars sale with this one. I've profited about it's twenty to twenty five dollars. So good. Um, I did actually have these sell and the buyer never paid as oh. well. So it it went through the process. Now I think eBay is allowing you to just cancel it after five days, which yep. wasn't the case at the time of this sale. I had to sit it up there for about ten to fifteen. Very yep. annoying. Um, but finally got to put it back online. And then sure enough, on the second go, it's been able to sell again in about seven days. So nice. um, Halo, if you're out there seeing Halo books in the op shops, definitely pick them up because they, they go okay. No, 100%, 100%. All right, for me, something random. Uh, this is a bag of Builderific or people call it Plastic Meccano. Um, Builderific? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's funny. Like I picked this up, um, I think I picked it up for about four bucks. And, uh, yeah, had it up. I originally had, this is interesting how my best offers are slightly showing different to your best offers, but yeah, I think I sold it for, yeah, 40 bucks. I had it listed for 49. They brought me down to 40 bucks. Um, and yeah, with sh after shipping and all that jazz, you know, I've come out with about a $16, $17 profit, uh, which isn't probably as much as I wanted, but once again, it's for 1.7 kilos, it's taking up a bit of space. It was good to just get it out. And, you know, it's it's got all the wheels. It's got all, you know, different things in there too. So these mm -hmm. ones do go a lot better. I've got another lot of this actually up, which doesn't have the wheels. And as soon as I put the wheels one up, I had quite a lot more, um, you know, people watching and whatnot. So look, it's it's some of the times, you know, you don't realize what's in there. It just looks like cheap stuff. But, you know, yeah. after doing some research, it's uh, it's well worth it. You know, it's... Like I said, I, I do a bit of everything and it's always fun to pick up these different kind of items. Very different to the sort of the items that I pick up. I would look <laughs> at this personally for myself and go, that is way too fiddly, too unknown. And uh, I, I don't even know if it's a complete set. You know, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't know enough about it to go on to sell it. So that's why I want to do these what solds with other resellers because it's the education process that you can get $40 for something like this, which I, yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I, would, I personally wouldn't look at that and think you can make 40 bucks. So um, yeah. Very, very impressive once again. Uh, this one was a really cool one. Um, I, I picked this one up, uh, off, I think it was about two weeks ago. It was a, a big bundle of VHS tapes that I picked up for 50 cents a piece. So nice. um, there was a lot that I bundled as a lot and they're still to sell, but there were a few in there that were around this $34.95 price point, mm -hmm. um, you know, 30 to 35 clearly this one being a, a Wiggles VHS tape. Um, yeah. There is some money to be made in, in this category. $34.95 was the sale price on this one. Uh, I did have a $30 international postage charge as well on top. Somebody from the US has ended up picking this one up. So oh, nice. um, based on the weight and the way I do my international postage with a flat rate of $30 across all items, um, I've ended up only posting it out for $18. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, so there's a little a little pickup there of about twelve bucks. So it's actually in my pocket sold for about forty seven dollars. This uh, this VHS. So to get a, a fifty cent purchase into forty seven bucks, I think this is a really cool one. And um, I've been able to profit um, overall. Uh, I think it was about thirty to thirty five dollars um, because crazy. of the low the low purchase price. So and, and I noticed you've got it as tested. So you test all your VHSs? Yeah, I've got a I've got a VCR. Um, nice. But, 
that set up and running. So I've, I've, I will end up selling it, but I figure I've got it to be able to obviously test. Um, yeah, and, okay. and sure enough, this one worked. To be honest, we, we bought so many that day that I've, I've literally just sat there for about an hour and played two seconds of every single one. And yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't get any issues across the board yeah. for VHS. That's good. Which That's good. I would have thought given the longevity of, of what they are, being a very old school product, that there might have been a few mishaps. But um, no, it worked, worked pretty well. So I was happy to get this one done. You've done well, mate. You've done well. Here we go. All right, this one. This this one is probably might actually be the best one of the week. Um, so Skylanders, I think a lot of people are pr- quite familiar. And this was a bundle um, that I actually picked up as it is with the 39 figures, two portals, and with the two Wii games. And one of the portals was wireless as well. Now, I, I'm going to say I actually picked this up for about just under $4 in, in a box. Now, the reason why is because I, I purchased in bulk that day from the op shop and it evened out cost of goods that it was basically $4 a pop. So mm. after selling this, I actually originally had it for $99. Um, there was a bit of a back and forth between the person. Um, and then, you know, I'm thinking, I, I, you know, I didn't want to have to pay postage. They didn't want to have to pay postage. And we, we met in the middle and they're actually going to pick it up. Uh, or we're going to do a drop off. So they win, I win. We're all happy. 65 mm. bucks. I mean, I still come out with a profit of 51 bucks after Whoa. fees um, because I only paid about $4 for it. So it's... um. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. And to be honest, I was so surprised to find this in a box. It, so by itself, it was $30. So I still paid $30 for it. But then when I averaged it out from the big haul from the day, you know, it was cheap as chips because all the other items were, were very low and I got some good good deals. But even for $30, I would have paid this. Um, and, you know, I probably wouldn't have gone down to the 65 but it was one of those things that's like, you know, I probably kept could have kept haggling or wanting more and I probably could have got more for it. But, you know, sometimes it's just worth it, you know, to say, well, it's worth taking it because you know, $50 profit, <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. want to get greedy. Um, no. And it's and, just and you know what? I think that's a really, I think that's a really important point for people out there watching as well. If you get a really good offer and it's not quite the price you know you can actually get for it. If you're maybe just starting out, I think it's a really great way to just get the process of shipment and everything else under your belt yeah. by just getting a few more sales wrapped up. Um, a, a lot of the times I'll see something with a, a relatively good offer, but I know that the comps on eBay are worth an extra $20. But yeah. what I'm starting to do more and more is just accept that slightly less of an offer. Um, and, and I think that really just comes down to the um, the purchase price, right? Yeah. Like if, if you've got this item for $5, but the person that, that sold the item for twenty dollars more paid twenty dollars for it. Exactly. No, you you never know that, right? Exactly. So it comes down to the point of what did you buy the item for? What do you know while that offer is sitting there is yeah. going to be the profit at the end of the day? And are you comfortable with that number? And correct for you, it was fifty dollars, and you were very happy with fifty dollars, so yeah. you accepted the offer. So you know that that comparison to comps that you see on eBay sometimes really is kind of irrelevant. It's That's more. Right. It's more based on your own number and, and your own purchase price because that's ultimately going to be different for everyone. So Exactly right. And there was even a few other little things in this bundle that I took out. There was another portal and a couple of other, you know, $15 versus Skylanders, which I'll go on to sell later. Mm. Um, but, you know, I basically wanted to just get this out the door, you know, sell as is. Um, and like I said, 50 bucks, you can't go wrong because it's about understanding when to cut your losses. Now, obviously, that's not a loss. That's a, it's a good win. But it's the same thing. If you've got something sitting up for a while, you're thinking it's worth 40, but someone offers you, you know, 15, 20, you know, it's realizing that maybe, you know, yours isn't as good condition. And, you know, it works both ways, I think. So um, some some good advice there. Love it, mate. Love it. Um, all right. My last one that I've got here, Lizzie McGuire DVD bundle. Now, um, this was eight uh, different. Nice. I, I don't know. They weren't seasons. I think they were almost just episodes from memory on this one. Okay. Um, Lizzie McGuire definitely sells. We've got a $70 <laughs> sale here. Um, I, I used to watch I used to watch Lizzie McGuire myself as a kid growing up. I don't know about you, Chris, but... Um, oh, I saw a few episodes at Friends yeah. Places and whatnot, yeah. Oh, Friends Places. I'm sure you're a big fan as much as I was, mate. <laughs> um, but no, look, this $70 sale, I paid a dollar each, so I was $8 in. This. Um, yeah, profited about 40 bucks once I posted it out. And uh, I think this one went into a medium satchel. I'm on a band five now with Australia yep. Post, which is awesome because I'm saving some really good money on my postage uh so i think the postage cost was just 10 bucks to get this one wow. done. So, hey that's a dream yeah stick eight eight dvds um you know 60 dollars uh, plus postage and um a profit of about 40 bucks once you've taken out the the fees my fees are about 15 percent with a, about a two percent average promoted listing so yeah. 
Um, 15% taken out. Yeah, it was it was sort of high 30s yet again for this one. So again, mate, DVDs. They, they yeah, I mean, you sell the individual, it. you sell the individual one brand new sealed. Um, but then when you get bulk lots of DVDs, just like the books, you can get, you know, 60, 70, 80 yeah. bucks. And, and the bundles, it makes the value just go so much. Like if you're trying to sell two of those, you wouldn't have got not, not much, but, you know, putting them as a bundle, it, it makes it so much more worth it. Spot on. All right. So for this one, for me, the last one, and this one's cool. I mean, I grew up with tech Love decks. Love tech um, decks, mate. It, These this cool. one sold within one day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I had it listed at 49, um, took the best offer of 45. Um, won't be too much to ship it. And uh, yeah, come out with a profit around 26 bucks, 25 bucks. Uh, but, you know, lots of little things in here. Now, you know, I want to be clear with this. You know, I've put in the description that they are aged. Some look well-worn, parts are loose, but assumes they're part of the toys, you know, because there was the spare parts and whatnot. And, you know, I put the different pictures in. Um, but I did, I have had about three offers, you know, within 15 minutes, 20 minutes of listing this. Um, some people went really low and then someone offered me 45 and I'm like, I'm taking it because, you know, I paid, yeah. I think I paid $4 for this. Um, yeah. actually this was from the same lot that I got, uh, the, the Wii bundle, the, the Skylanders as well. So, nice. um, you don't want out of that. yeah, super crazy. Um, but you know, it's, you got to be careful with those. Cause I think these ones are the 2002, there are newer versions and the newer versions aren't worth as much. Like, I mean, cause you can just pick them up from Kmart, but these ones that, you know, they're a good, you know, 10, 15, 20 years old, some of them. So uh, you, you do have to just check them, but you know, I put them up as is, put the pictures and if people know their stuff, they're going to pay what they want for it. So very yeah. happy with this. That is epic, mate. You've done very, very well. Now, I won't go into any sales numbers just yet. I'll do my own after we've rounded out here, but um, sure. no doubt you'll have a video up pretty soon around your what's sold personally and uh, that's it. And your, and your sales numbers as well. So, uh, mate, I do appreciate you being on and, and sharing out a, a couple of different sales. I hope for everyone watching out there, you've enjoyed that that different dialogue, I think, from a, a what's sold perspective. Just a bit of banter uh, between a couple of resellers here in Australia. And um, hopefully you can jump down with the uh, CL furlong code down the bottom there Find Chris on YouTube and uh, and give him a quick sub because it'd be great to get him to 1,000 as I touched on at the beginning. So, Chris, thank you very much, mate, for jumping on and being my first my first ever StreamYard live guest. It's um, <laughs> It's been an education process as much as it's been super fun. So mate, thank you very th much, mate. Th thank you. You know, it's been great to be able to, you know, come on and, and have a ch chit chat and all that banter. And it's always great to be able to see what other people are selling as well. And you you're just totally welcome with the StreamYard stuff. It's it's uh, It can be quite technical. Oh, it can be. But hopefully we're, we're right <laughs> moving forward and we can get you back on for a couple more what's sold down the track, mate. Mate, thanks so much. Good stuff. Cheers, mate. So they were our 10 best sold sales items of the week, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that style of video. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you did and, and you would like to see that moving forward for the Sunday show. Something I enjoyed doing and, and, and something I'd be tempted to do moving forward with a few other resellers. Uh, let's dive into our featured reseller of the week now. And this week, I'm very, very excited to get a couple on, a husband and wife team over in the US that are doing some fantastic things in the reselling space. Hustlin' Hooks is the YouTube name. If you haven't yet checked them out, and look, you very well may have, because I've got about 15,000 subscribers. They're doing very, very well on YouTube. Um, they are making some fantastic sales. They, they sell across so many different platforms, which is quite hard for me to get my head around, considering I'm just purely more so eBay at the moment. They sell across four or five different platforms. They have a wealth of knowledge. And just recently, I've been watching a couple of their videos around a huge garage sale run that they were able to get on, where there were 49 local garage sales. Definitely go and check their channel out and have a look at that video. I was blown away by just how many garage sales in the one location they had. Um, we've got an awesome item. They've sent me a really cool item here. I'll bring it up for you to have a quick look at. It was the Manga book series. So this was a Japanese graphic novel, but it was the English version. Um, they've ended up buying 12 of these and they paid 50 cents a piece. So it only cost them six bucks. Now they've gone on to sell them all in really quick time. There's a screen grab here that I've got of three of them. They sold for $99.90. But the remaining nine also went to sell for a collective total of $395. So, you know, you're collectively probably making about 300 to 350 bucks on this book series. Now, I actually found a Japanese book series, a complete set in the op shop, but because it was Japanese, I, I just left it alone. I actually didn't grab it and I probably should have, especially 
based on this sale. So well done, guys. I thought I would highlight you. And for everyone else out there, if you haven't yet seen the Hustle and Hooks YouTube channel, go and give them a subscribe. Watch that video around the garage sale hall because it was pretty cool. And uh, let them know that I sent you there. Hustle and Hooks, well done, guys. Awesome run. And uh, thought I'd get you on the show today. Well done. Okay, guys, and to round out what has been a relatively longer episode, if you're still here watching now, thank you very much. Let's dive into the weekly sales numbers. I'll pull the table up. It was a relatively quieter week this week, and I know that there's been some things that have taken place this week regarding a couple of articles and a couple of TV stories, but uh, 30 items was not the result of listing any less. I'm typically around 50 sales a week, and nothing really changed from an operational front, yet my sales were down to 30. So let me know in the comments below, have you had a slightly quieter a week on eBay this week because I certainly have. Total revenue $1,168, fees of $175, postage cost $282. Look, my net cash flow, guys, I've made $538.95 this week. So that's once everything is taken care of. The new inventory spend as well. There was about, I think it was about 25 items that I bought this week. It was really quite a quiet week from an inventory purchase front. Um, I had a really big wholesale purchase the week before, which is obviously why it was a bit quieter this week. But um, yeah, close to $550. It is midday on a Sunday here at the moment. So I'm hoping I can tick that upwards of $600 to $700 net. Um, but I am, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'm generally averaging a net cash flow of about $1,000 a week. So right now, if I didn't make another sale, I'm literally at half the sales I would normally have um, from a net cash flow perspective. So. Um, look, quite rare and indifferent to have a really big dip like I have had this week. Um, I know it's obviously coincided with a Daily Mail article and a TV show interview. Um, but like I said, my, my processes of what I've done each and every day compared to what I've done in the previous weeks has not changed. So a quite a week on eBay is all I would put it down to. Um, let me know in the comments. Has that been the same case for you? Um, but look, I'm not too discouraged about that. I'm just going to continue on doing what I'm doing and um, you know, hope for the best. Hope a few more sales come through. Uh, really hope that you've had an awesome week of sales yourself and done a lot better than I have from what I normally do. Uh, let me know in the comments below. What was your best sold sales item of the week? I always love to read it in the comments. It really does give me ideas. I've actually gone ahead and bought items that you guys have referenced in your comments uh, based on seeing that information. So if you could do that, that'd be great. Um, hope you've enjoyed the episode, guys. What's sold? Another week done. We're back into it on Monday. We're going to keep charging hard. I'm looking forward to another really good week and hopefully a few more sales than what we had this week. Appreciate you tuning in, guys. We'll see you in the next video.